I always thought it was normal to destroy circadian rhythms, like being awake and being asleep were just drug-induced states, rather than natural states of my life. I always thought it was normal to be addicted to coffee, maybe even normal to be addicted to sleeping pills. Uh, my mom has multiple sclerosis, so whenever she is having a flare-up, she gets steroids. And in order to help her sleep, when she gets her steroids, she typically gets a prescription of Ambien or another sleep medication. One night, I really needed to sleep and I couldn't get to sleep because I just had so many things on my mind, so she let me take one. After that point, I started taking them on my own. Being able to take sleep medications, Zolpidem, it was like the key to losing control of my body. I didn't have to worry about the stresses of today or tomorrow. I didn't have to think about responsibilities or worries or fears or anxieties. I could just take the pill and let the feeling of powerlessness take over. I think the thing about sleep pills is that people don't really understand that they're addictive. I also realized that if I could fight the feeling, I would begin to dream while I was awake. The surreal dream state and confusion of consciousness brought me to a place where drug users attempt to reach. My entire body would just get so heavy. First my muscles, then my eyelids, then my mind. I was addicted to sleeping pills from the summer before I turned 18 um, to the summer before I turned 19. After I ran out of the sleep medications, I just started moving through prescriptions. I went next to Darvacet. Um, that's a painkiller. It has nothing to do with sleep. And it didn't fix my sleep problems because it isn't meant to do that. And before I came to college, I took all the pills and I washed them down the sink. If I could say one thing about my sleeping pills, it's that I wish I had never started. I wish that I knew that I would be able to turn them down if they were available tomorrow or tonight. I may have washed all the pills down the sink, but I don't honestly know if I could resist them if they were available now. I don't know if I could turn down eight hours of undisturbed sleep or undisturbed relaxation.